Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I had yet another Jason Whitlock fan come in, and actually several of his fans have done this. They've tried to tell me in my videos that I'm wrong, that my theory is if it's actually my theory and not the leading theory and hypothesis in nutritional science, that it has anything to do with me, uh, is wrong, and that his weight loss experiment proves it. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skilling up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. Let's talk about the problems with this idea. All right, guys, in short, if you claim something about the human body, that you claim that you're doing something with the human body and you run a self-experiment and it contradicts a dozen or more controlled, variable controlled laboratory studies on the human body, uh, you've got a problem. In fact, if you do that and uh, you don't have it in a controlled environment, you're actually a charlatan. You're actually conning people. Uh, because here's the thing, you should be able to put it into a laboratory and produce the exact same results. Uh, but these people can't. And that's been the problem with the ketogenic diet thing. Uh, this has been studied over and over and over. And people need to understand with the obesity epidemic out there, uh, with the amount of money involved in weight loss, you have to understand there is big business in finding effective fat loss tools. Okay, There is an actual financially vested interest in this. It has had a lot of money thrown into it, all right? It's had a lot of money thrown into it. And ketogenic diets are extremely well researched and extremely well understood. They do not provide any fat loss advantage calorie per calorie, none, zero, zip. In fact, anything that's been found has been shown the opposite. The ketogenic diets actually cause body composition changes slightly slower than higher carb diets and that they have a slight disadvantage metabolically against higher carb diets. That's what's been found in the research over and over and over. Now people outside of a lab are like, but I got results on it. Yeah, because you reduce your calories. It wasn't anything magical. Uh, that's that's all it is. And, and again, if people felt differently, uh, subject yourself to a laboratory study. Go put yourself in the lab because if you feel that magically you have the ability to lose more fat, on a ketogenic diet than on a higher carb diet of the same calories, uh, the medical doctors should be able to study you and figure out what's different about you because in normal humans that doesn't actually work. It's been studied in hundreds and hundreds of people now in a laboratory to where they can control what they eat. The, the scientists can measure everything they eat and it's been found to be not true. All right, it's been found to be not true over and over and over. We've been studying ketogenic diets in the lab for over 80 years in America over 80 years. Let that sink in for a minute. Let that sink in. Uh, because of epilepsy studies, and you know what we have found repeatedly? Children who go on deep ketogenic diets, the most extreme ketogenic diets, more strict than people who do Atkins, more strict than people who do these bodybuilder type ketogenic diets. Children who have epilepsy who go on these diets do not get lean, they do not get ripped. Is that a shock to people? You know what happens when you put children on epileptic style ketogenic diets, which are 80% fat, all right, 80% fat. They are not allowed carb up days ever. They don't get to replenish their muscle glycogen. They don't get to carb up. They are put on deep ketosis diets to produce as many ketones as humanly possible. Every one of them, when they've been studied, even children who were put on these diets from four and five years old all the way up until their 20s, None of them are thin as a result of it. None of them, when they study it, have below average weight. Now, if these were amazing weight loss diets, people who've been on a ketogenic diet for 20 years straight, you would think they would be fairly thin. They're all normal weight. They're normal weight. There is no metabolic advantage to this. These people don't get lean. They don't get ripped. Uh, they have normal body fats, the same as everyone else. They don't look leaner or more in shape than the average person when they're put on these diets. The reason ketogenic diets help people lose weight is because lack of food choices. If you have to eat the same foods over and over and over again, you tend to eat less. Also, because you're avoiding refined sugars, uh, which are a lot of people's trigger foods for overeating because you're avoiding a refined sugar since refined sugars are part of your carbs. Since you're avoiding all carbs, you're not getting the ones that are actually a problem. Most carbs don't necessarily cause this. Certain refined carbs do uh, cause people to overeat. 
cause people to binge. All right, that's been studied. We know the, the pathways in the brain through which processed sugars do this. It's actually understood at the neurotransmitter level. You remove that, okay, that helps. The other thing is that ketosis itself creates a mild state of nausea that can reduce appetite. But you know what? Not everyone loses weight on ketogenic diets. They're not like some magical thing that helps people lose weight outside of a calorie deficit. In fact, people on here, some of his fans come in and are like, Jason, well, you should do one. You wouldn't be so fat. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I did ketogenic diets for over a year on YouTube. I didn't get ripped. I didn't get ripped lifting heavy ass weights, squatting well over 400 pounds for, for reps for work sets, up to five days a week, doing work sets with deadlifts over 500 pounds and doing an hour of cardio every day on a ketogenic diet. I didn't get ripped. You know why? Because I eat a lot of calories. Because calories in, calories out matter. If you don't go into a calorie deficit, ketogenic diets will not take a single ounce of body fat off you. And that has been proven in laboratory study after laboratory study over and over and over. It does not have a metabolic advantage. Uh, and anyone who's doing an experiment claiming it does is a con man. They're conning you. I don't care how much you like the person. I don't care how much you're a fan of what they do. They are a fucking con man. And if they weren't a con man, they'd go subject themselves to a laboratory study and compare when they put them in a lab on a 70% carb diet versus a 70% fat diet, they should lose more fat on when they study in DEXA scans on the other. But these people won't because they know that they won't. They won't lose more fat if the scientists control their food intake. Because here's the thing when it comes to anecdote with these diets. People are like, well, you know, I did this and when I was eating higher carbs, uh, I couldn't lose weight. And then I, I went on higher calories on ketogenic diet and I lost weight. Well, here's the problem. When people are put on restrictive diets, we also have studies that show that people suck at counting calories. All right, that actually there's a form of psychosis that even happens. It causes people to binge eat when they're on a restrictive diet and they forget that they binge. They forget that they binge even when it's filmed on camera. We've studied this also. And we know that humans, when they're having their food severely restricted, will sometimes stop losing weight because every three days or so they binge on an enormous pile of cookies and other shit uh, and forget that they ate it and literally will start crying when they see the video footage because they're telling, they know they've been filmed for 24 hours a day, you know, in the hospital and everything in the metabolic ward. They know they've been filmed. And then when they see themselves eating the cookies, they didn't remember eating them. They were told them, I ate half a cookie and threw the rest of, put the rest away. But they actually ate the whole box of 2,500 calories of cookies. And they couldn't remember doing it. And they get upset when they see it on camera because they honestly can't remember it. Welcome to uh, calorie restriction. Welcome to restrictive diets. Um, people suck at counting calories. And so if you think that you're the one exception to the rule because you tried this and it worked, you're not, you just weren't counting your calories correctly uh, because you're not some metabolic freak who is biologically different from all the humans we've studied in a lab. You probably just have just had some sort of psychosis with binge eating or tracking calories incorrectly um, when your calories are restricted. The brain does funny things to people when it's afraid they're gonna starve to death or when they're dealing with food addictions and that's probably what's going on. It has nothing to do with ketogenic diets causing more fat loss. Uh, and it's, it's disgusting that you have people like this who have fans who he's, he's conned into believing that he went, goes from like 2,000 calories or 2,500 of high carbs to 4,000 and starts losing fat faster on a ketogenic diet. That's a fucking scam. The guy is a con man because in, we studied it in labs. We know that doesn't happen. In fact, people who eat high calories on ketogenic diets, if their calories go over maintenance, they gain fat. If they don't eat a calorie deficit, they don't lose any fat. These diets don't have any magical fat burning effects. They have appetite controlling effects, which works for a segment of the population, but not for everyone. It's diet adherence and appetite control. All right, that's what causes these diets to work. They don't help you burn body fat. They're actually worse at burning body fat and recompositioning your body. In fact, it's actually harder to hold on to muscle mass on a really low carb diet than it is on a higher carb diet. That's been shown pretty conclusively in the research. So they're not that great for body composition uh, for most people. Uh, the, some people get away with them, but not everyone. And they certainly don't have any advantage outside of appetite control at all. And anyone telling you otherwise is conning you. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. 
and I will talk to you guys next time.